Today I am filling in some of the spots that don't have um, daffodils or tulips in it. <clears throat> so I just did one container right here. It has uh, some pretty good um, roots on these tulips and there were some that were deeper in the pot that the bulbs were actually um, getting a little bit of mold on them. So I'm going to, I'm going to bury these anyway, see what they do. And it's clearly still alive and everything. So hopefully like this isn't too rotted out, kind of rubbing off the moldy part and uh, see if this comes up and keeps growing now that I've, I think it was in the bottom, you know, the bottom part of the layered pot. And I think it just was buried too deep. I was having a hard time. So we'll see what happens with these. Sometimes when you take stuff out of the pot, the dirt just all falls away and all you get is like all the roots out, which is just fine. Just plant them, just to kind of gently detangle them a little bit like that. They really do want to come apart. If they don't, I don't force them apart. I'll just plant them in a clump, but uh, maybe just put it in your soil and then you give it lots of support around it because it's used to being supported by it container and the other plants being so close. See like these are all roped together. I'll probably just put these in a clump together so I don't have to try to separate them. Good girl, huh? You just come and say hello. Oh, you like the sun, huh? Oh, my hands are dirty, Thena. That's okay, you were rolling yesterday, huh? Here are some daffodil bulbs and maybe a tulip bulb mixed in there. So the lighter one's the tulip right here. And I think the this one back here is the daffodil bulb. So I'm just gonna plant it just like that. Put it right in there, cover it up with dirt. Just trying to fill this area out a little bit better. And uh, so this is how they come out of the pot pretty well. Like the root ball just wants to shake away. You know, there's some extras that were down deeper that didn't really get there. So I'm gonna plant these as well. This one's pretty good. It's not um, molding too bad. I just finished this little section right here. And uh, I've kind of built the soil up um, a little bit under these because they're they're used to being inside the pot so um, the container kind of supports the sides of them a little bit as you can see like I've buried them um, not quite as deep as they were in the pot uh, you know about six inches or so deep and uh, this so they have a little bit less support so I'm like right here like I've definitely built up a little mound to help support these because they're just used to being in a container. But I think that's gonna be really pretty. I might come in with some other plants, like some snapdragons or something, and plant them in the front here or in the back. Kind of fill it up a little bit. But just trying to get a little more continuous growth. I might even put some of these daffodils in in here. So this is what <clears throat> the bottom of this particular pot looks like. The other one came apart like really easily. This this other pot did. So this ones are a little bit more put together and compacted and have actually a root ball down here where the other one didn't have a root ball. They were all still kind of individual, but nice big healthy roots. So <clears throat> I'm going to try to take some of these apart and put them in. So what I'll probably do is just... It's just something like that. Try to make it really easy so don't stress them out too much. And just plant them in here. Just kind of like, kind of like just put them in there like that. You know, try to take its share of root ball. We'll see. This, you know, these may not like this. They may not do well. Well, I am sprinkling a little bit of a biotone starter in the holes that I'm planting the tulips and daffodils on even though I think you know you're not really supposed to fertilize these until 
um, next fall, I kind of figured I would start a little bit just amending the soil. Um, it's not the greatest of soils. <laughs> As I planted this stretch right here, And I planted. Now this stretch right here, this little spot, I think I buried them too deeply. Because when I started digging around to bury this part right here, I noticed there was some in here, but they were a little bit like lower into the ground. So I dug them up just a little bit, see if that helps get them going. It looks like some pretty tulips. Makes these daps are blooming to death. Very pretty. So I planted this stretch here. I'm going to leave a little path here and re-mulch this. Planted this stretch here. This tulip's obviously like, no, I'm not too happy. I got some snapdragons and um, soliosa yesterday. I got a couple flats. So I figured I'd just try it out. They might, might be too early for them. Who knows with all the cold weather we've been having. And then I planted this stretch right here. So I'm going to water these in and uh, see if these take or if we have a big die off. But I think the tulips will be just fine actually. I still have to plant these two right here, this here, and that one's sort of a place keeper to keep that glamberry from getting stepped on but uh yeah that cold weather last night and yesterday we had frost rolling so i brought in all the little tender things they were inside overnight the tender stuff but all the tulips stayed out have some bendy over ones in the pots a little bit but i think they'll be okay but yeah the um they're all starting to open up over here Yay. As you can tell, I need to water some stuff. Some stuff is just not quite happy yet. I don't know. I don't think that the hollyhock liked going inside. Just gorgeous. Oh, look at that pink. It is the next day, and it's raining out, but I thought I would do a little update to show you how the transplant plants are doing. Everything seems to be actually rebounding <clears throat> really nicely because of the rain, I think. Even the hollyhock looks happier. <laughs> I just need to plant these two. So these are um, these are some of the transplants right there. More of the transplants here. Transplants here. And transplants here. Oh, look, some trash. I'm going to remove <clears throat> that as well. It's an old jacuzzi cover. I think our neighbors are going to take it. But there's like a fence and they're like, oh, we'll just wait. <laughs> it's 
tulips in the rain. Often. Uh, often I was just flopped over, so I think either I didn't bury them deep enough or they need more support, but I'm going to YouTube that, see what I can do to change that for next year. They're all facing away. <laughs> they don't want our attention. I love this combination of <clears throat> this purple tulip with this yellow is just that's going to be awesome we have some really really bright ones here coming in look at that it seems almost like neon that's going to be a really pretty combination as well All right, I'm going to head inside since it's, uh, it's raining <laughs> and Athena's out here somewhere. I gotta go find her. Patiently waiting to go inside. Are you waiting? Huh? You ready to go inside? You got a nice little dry spot right there. Oh, look how wet you are. Oh, you all wet. Is that better? 